Okay, um, let's continue our next topic. Okay, uh, if you take a look at our uh, schedule, okay, currently we are at uh, T07, topic number seven, tree based classification. And I will show, um, I will show you several uh, different techniques to analyze data. Okay, for example, for linear regression, uh, logistic regression, we're trying to find a line to fit the data to present the relationship between x, your feature, and your y, your target. That is one philosophy. Okay. The other philosophy is SVN. We do not describe the relationship between x and y. We describe a model, which is a classifier that can separate the data point. Of, uh, in the feature space, okay. Of course, the label is labeled by Y, okay. And there are several different ways. For example, you can linear separate, or you can do it in a higher space like uh, RDFA SVM, okay. Those are two different philosophies, okay. Here, we would like to introduce the third one, which is use and other yet another philosophy, which is tree based. Okay, uh, the name of uh, this algorithm is decision tree. Okay, decision tree is a supervised learning because we know the answer. Okay, as in the first place, we have X features, we have Y target. Okay, uh, this method used for classification and regression. As we mentioned, uh, usually SVM and the logic regression is used for classification, and the linear regression is used for regression, which is numeric target. But here, uh, decision tree, it's uh, can be used for can be used for classification and regression. Okay, the goal is to create a method that predicts the value of target by learning simple decision rules inferred from the data point, which means not learn a line to fit the data, not to learn a surface to separate data. Here. We learn some simple decision rules. The decision rules means if, if uh, a rule, okay, the answer is yes or no. Okay, it depends on your answers. Okay, then we ask next question and so on and so forth. And finally, we can get the classification classification result or the regression result. 我们就是生成一些很简单的规则那那些规则都因为所简单的意思就是拿单机也是跟弄的那单机也是跟弄你可以问第一个问题也是弄真的这个资料点问第二个问题也是弄真的这个资料点问第三个问题也是弄所以当
and uh, his or her name, sex, gender, okay, male, female, age, uh, which is a numeric numeric data, okay. 那右侧还有很多其他 There are some some other else. For example, uh, the cabin number, uh, fare, how how much money he or she spent to buy the ticket, the uh, ticket number, so on so forth and so on. And how many families with he, him or her? 就是他有多少。家庭成员一起搭船，这些资料都会在后面很多哈，就是非常很多哈。So basically, it is a classification problem. Okay. However, the features are quite, uh, we say quite uh complex. We have numeric data like age. We have a classific, cut. We have um ranked data. 啊，呃，你们要知道，就是那个资料有时候虽然是卡。是有是类别型的，可是它是有顺序的。像我们会认为头等舱应该比二等舱厉害，二等舱比三等舱厉害，三等舱比四等舱厉害等等之类的。所以有的时候那个虽然是 categorical 的 data， 但它是有排序的，好，所以你叫 rank data。Sometimes the data is ranked even if it is a categorical data. A data with rank can do addition and subtraction. 那个有 rank 的资料啊，我们就基本上我们的认知里面是可以做加跟减的，但是不能做乘跟除哦，对吗？头等舱跟二等舱的差距是一等嘛，头等舱跟三等舱的差距是两等嘛，所以做加减好像还可以，可是你不能做，你等下就不能做乘法啊，没有乘法这回事哈。但是我们讲那个黑色跟红色，你没有办法用黑色头发减掉红色头发，相等于什么红色减掉绿色头发，没有没有这回事。所以 ，categorical data 你可以看一下，它有时候是有顺序的。那有顺序还可以做加减，不能做乘除。好，这个要记得。Okay, so that is the、uh, the original data、uh, we download from the internet. Okay, so basically, let's do some feature engineering. Okay. That's some、uh, data cleaning.、Uh, Process, okay. For example,、um, there are several things. Okay, let's take a look one by one. Okay, okay. This is a very big cell. Okay, but I wrote, wrote notation comment on it. Okay, for this data set in line three, the first thing is that the feature that tells whether a passenger had a cabin on Titanic. 呃，因为在那个铁达尼号上有一些是根本就没有呃房间舱等，他们是在最下面的，就没有舱等的那些位置。So, uh, line number five. Okay, this data set, this table has a specific column feature. Okay, which means has cabin. Okay, we create a in line number five. It means we create a new column. Called has cabin, and the cabin is either one or zero, which means it has cabin or not. How do we decide a data has cabin or not? It depends on the other row,、uh, the other column, which is cabin, right here. Okay, and if it is zero or if it is one, then we、uh, write. Has cabin. Actually, it means that. Okay, we have a a lot of passenger right here, right? So here we have a cabin. Right here. Okay, the cabin. It might be something like that. This right here. For example, C eighty five. C eighty five. N thirty one. A two something like that, and some some、uh, passenger they has no cabin, so that means not a number, which means it is a new or now data. So the green part, this one, means I would like to. Okay, 好 
That means I would like to create an other column, which is a new feature. And it depends on if it is a word. It's a, it is, it's a combination of uh, alphabetic words or, or a number. And I say, yes, it has caveat. Yes, it has caveat. Yes. And so on and so forth. Un until an a n means it's not a number. It, it, is, uh, it, it is not, it is a missing value. So I say, no, this passage has no caveat. So that we can leverage such kind of pre processing process to help us to claim the original data because it originally it is a text data right c85 and 31 is a text data but in our algorithm most of the time we wish we hope those data are numeric data or at least they are binary data one or zero so when you if before you analyze your data, before you apply your algorithm to those data you had better Take a look at each columns, each features, and try to make sure those data can be processed by your algorithm, which can only be numeric data or binary data. So I do such kind of data transform. So after doing that, okay, I delete this feature. Okay, so it becomes a pure numeric or categorical data okay and so on so forth okay so right here for the second preprocessing what i did i create another new feature called family size okay and what is it how how, how did i calculate this number okay based on three original features Okay, the family size include how many siblings that travel with you and if your parents if any of your parents are on the boat and plus one which means yourself so I can create a new feature called family size by using two other orig original features which is sibling and uh, I think that is parent parent okay before you uh, analyze your data, you may think you may want to uh, try to create a lot of features by using the original features, which may enrich your data. How will the data What else we have? For example, I can create a data new feature called is alone. If you don't have your family with you, you don't have your parent. Uh, if your family size is one, then that means you travel alone, right? 就这些数据，你好像看似都是从旧数据这样加加减减啊，层层出出弄出来的哈。但是，呃，你能够enrich你的data的话，那你后面的那些algorithm，或许就能够从这些加加减减啊，就是做些feature engineering的事情，获得更好的对资料的观察了。那比如说切个平面啊。做个regression 的 line fit 或许都有可能可以做得更好的 My suggestion is uh, If you can do feature engineering okay, To think about this data To try to combine different features To create new features And uh, that might be very helpful For the following algorithms Models to analyze your data Okay so uh, that's just the, that's all the other things for you, okay? Uh, for example, I uh, I take a look at their name. If their name has some titles like lady, uh, content, uh, this one, colonel, caption, doctor, may, mayor, some, uh, something like that. Then you can create a new feature. So okay, they they, they may be from very uh, decent family or something like that. 就是你就算看到的名字啊，你看就是 passenger 的每个名字都不一样啊，那个名字当 feature 就不好嘛，对不对？
，因为它是纯文字的啊。可是因为以前的人都有冠一些 title 嘛，比如说他是什么什么大公啊、伯爵啊、呃什么上校啊，对不对？啊，所以可以生一个新的 feature， 叫做他有没有 title， 或者他是不是贵族，对不对？你可以用这种东西去生一些新的 feature 出来。Uh, something like that. Okay. So after that, I, I have a, a a new table, which has enriched features. Okay. So here's that. But we we, we simply just uh, do a very simple um, demonstration. So I only select some um, some very simple features like. Uh, what is the cabin class? The sex, okay, is either either one. The age, okay, uh, is uh, is one two one two three means it is larger than average or not, okay. Uh, fair is how much money he or she spend, and if she or he has cabin, how many family travel with he or she? Is he or she alone? Uh, is she had or he? Has title or not, something like that. It's just a very simple numeric data or categorical data like this. Okay, so before you do um, analyze, okay, I strongly recommend you draw the correlation between different features. Ah, 就是很简单，就是你高中学的那个 correlation 就是相关系数嘛 You always can find if certain Features are highly correlate with some other features, or you can observe which feature is very has very high correlation with target. 就你可以看 feature 跟 feature 之间有没有一些高相关性的事情。比如说，呃，你的呃，随便假想一个例子啊，你船舱的舱等越高，是不是可能表示你越有钱？你越有钱，是不是？那个费尔内兰就会高，你费尔内兰会高，有没有 imply 说你的 title 比较高，所以你愿意花比较多的钱买更好的 cabin？ 好，所以你可以尝试， you can try to observe the relationship between features。那或者是另外一种是，你可以看看那个 y 啊，因为我们现在是看它有没有存活嘛。啊，比如说船坐船舱比较高等的人，有没有可能因为先逃生的关系，他活下来的几率就比较大呢？你不知道嘛，所以你可以先观察嘛。Or you can observe the relationship, uh, the co co correlation between the target and uh and some specific feature. Okay, so as we can see that we so that which one is the highest one? Um, I think that this one is the highest one. Right? So. So there are two. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, let's see. Okay. Like, seventy-three. This is very high. Or is it eighty-three? Ah, remember that correlation is because of the civil code, but it's just civil code and civil code. That no matter the civil code, it's always the same. So civil code is not related. So there are several uh, different. Uh, for example, the uh, the class. P class. The class. Uh, class. Uh, the 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 class. You 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 have is highly related to if you have cabins. This is a bit of a fake one, and it is quite obviously okay. So let's take a look at. Uh, not, who and who is the most related to cabins? Usually, you would like to uh, find out what is the highest uh, correlation between your target and I think that is this one, right? Or even. This one, or this one, or this one, or this one, right? This, uh, I think, this five or four features are high, uh, are related to survived. Okay, what is that one? That means title. The more title you have, and I think the more the higher chance. You may get um, you 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 may survive. Ah,、uh, 就是你你 title 越高就这样子，你可能就有办法逃生越多吧。啊、uh, ，其实中规中矩就是你越越有钱，你就越有机会逃生了、啊。
。但是根据过去对这个灾难的研究，是因为当时的文文化是小孩跟女那个女性要先逃嘛，所以你可以看到第二栏就是 sex 的那一栏也蛮高的，因为当时是这样想的，好吗？ And sometimes sex is、uh, female. Female has higher priority to get out the the Titanic. Okay. So basically, the the answer is like that. So、uh, how to based on this Titanic table? Of course, we can use Lagrangian regression or SVN or、uh, Lazy regression to analyze such kind of data. But here, I'd like to introduce tree. How a tree. Uh, what the tree looks like? It may looks like big things. Basically, that is the root of the tree. So, if you have a data point, okay, you would like to know this passenger, this data point, is survive or not survive in your data model. Then you just traverse this tree from the root. Ah.、Uh, 你有个 data point 嘛，你的你的乘客来了嘛，对不对？然后呢，你就从这个树的这个根这个入开始，然后开始去 traverse， 就是游走这棵树。And how did you traverse this tree? Um,、uh, there is one question on the tree node, which is right here. That is the question. So if you're a passenger, you have you you have a data point of the passenger, and the first question you have to ask is, is this data point is this ten,、uh, this passenger, his or her title is less than one point five, which means it has less than two titles, less than one point five titles. Okay, let's make it up. Okay. The answer is yes or no. So one 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 way is yes, the other way is no.、Um, so I make a note right here. The left hand child is yes, yes. So the answer is yes. This is no. So if this passenger has more than has、uh, has less than one point five titles, then you goes to left subtree. 就是你到左边的这棵紫树上。Okay, that is the first wrong answer question. The second wrong is, uh, uh, does this passenger have has cabin? If the answer is less than zero point five, then yes. Otherwise, no. And so on, so forth, so on, so forth. So the problem of decision tree is how did you create a appropriate tree? And for each node, you ask the proper question with some sort of parameters. For example, zero point five, one point five. Those are parameters of these questions. How did you create such kind of tree? And at the end, for example. Okay, here is another question. The edge less than one point five. Okay, that is correct question. The last question. Okay, and for this last question, if your answer is yes, this testing passenger, his or her age is less than one point five, and it goes to the left hand side, which is the last node. And here is the classification result right here. That not survive. And of course, there are cert there are certain other traverse path. 就是他们有其他的这个 traverse 的路径 For example, like this. Then, if your data point fit these answers. Okay. The answer, the first answer should be no. The second answer should be yes. And the third question, the answer should be uh is no. Then you go to this final note, and we can see that classification result of your data point is survived. Of course, there are very 
there are several paths, several nodes, which specify your what your target, which is survive or not survive. So the next question is how do we build such kind of tree by using our training data? 啊, 所以我们就是要造出所以问题是我们怎么样建出这一棵树 OK, how do we create such kind of tree? Okay. So basically, uh, let's go back to something right here So uh, for our topic number 7, tree-based classification We have uh, another slide which is called Entropy Genie uh, uh, Information Game Variance or something like that OK, so you can download this uh, slide so let's go back to the slides, which is right here. Okay, we have some mathematical things made to discuss by uh, by using this slide. Okay, we we will tell you how to create such kind of tree with different concept. The reason why we introduce this green tree is that. That kind of tree is very easy to understand because there is a question in each node. And you simply just answer the question and you can traverse the tree. So most of the managers and boss, when they make decision, they like such kind of uh, philosophy because the question is right here. Okay? And maybe that question is, is fit, uh, is uh, quite fit to their uh, business. Uh, intelligence in their mind. 就是说很多老板很喜欢 我必须要说，tree相关，就是decision-tree相关的这个呃理论，就很比较没有像，比如像刚SBM，它有些复杂的数学运算。啊，tree的理论比较简单一些，所以我们来看一下这些理论怎么做到的。So uh, here's an example. Okay, uh, it's still it's use the uh Titanic dataset. Okay, the first question is. Is sex male? Well, yes or no? Okay, if the answer is no, they say 60, 60, 36 percent will survive. Okay, and at the left hand side, the age larger than 9.5, the answer is yes or no that uh, it has sibling, uh, travel with sibling, travel with siblings larger than 2.5, the answer is yes or no. So when you build a decision tree, okay, you take a top top-down approach 就是由上而下的 approach at each level 就是在每一个层的时候 we would like to ask one best question and this question can help us to separate 因为答案有两个嘛 because we have two answers yes and no yes or no right so basically we partition the original training data into two different sets and if possible, the best answer can well uh, separate the original data set regarding the answer is yes and no and at the same time, survive or not survive 终于在两边哦就在每一层我们会问一个问题 拆开成两个部分嘛，因为右边就等下去走右边嘛，左边就走左边嘛，所以是拆两个部分。这两个部分呢，问的那个问题呢，要最能够让你 
假设你有个资料集，里面很简单 ，y 就是零跟一，啊，有有一堆的 feature， 是二三十个 feature 你可以选。所以你现在问了某一个问题之后啊，你发现回答是 y 的，回答是 yes 的，它的 y 刚好都是一耶，然后那个问题回答 no 的。刚好那个 y target 答案都是零哎，那你不是问了一个超棒的问题，针对某一个特别的 feature 就把两份的资料，就是 y 等于一跟 y 等于零分开吗？那这个问题不就超棒吗？对不对？好，所以现在来回想，我们为什么要刚刚给各位先看一下那个 correlation 的 matrix？ 你看嘛 ，correlation 的 matrix 不就是揭示了每一个 feature 跟 y 之间的关系吗？对不对？所以如果有某一个 feature， 它的跟它跟 y 的 correlation 超大，那就表示什么？你用那个来问问题，你很有可能用那个 feature 在问问题的时候，就把 y 也分得超级开，对吗？你想啊，如果假设有一个 feature， 它完全的跟 y 是线性的 ，y 大那个 feature 就大 ，y 小那个 feature 就小。那很简单啊，你对那个 feature 问一个问题，切一半 ，y 大的去 y 大那边 ，y 小的去 y 小那边，这个 feature 大的去 feature 大的那边 ，feature 小的去那边，那不就把 y 跟那个 feature， 就用这个 feature 把这个 y 也切开了吗？意思是一样。好，我跟你们再讲一遍哈。So, um, the reason why we I show you the correlation matrix is that we can use the correlation matrix to visualize the relationship between your target. Which is why, and all the other features, right? If there is a very is a specific feature, okay, it is very very it has a high correlation to your target. For example, mean linear correlation relation to y. For example, a a very specific x okay feature. Then you can use this feature to partition. Your data by using your feature, and at the meantime, because your feature is highly correlated to your target, so when you use your X, your highly correlated feature, to partition your data, it is it has a very high chance, and your data can be partitioned regarding to your Y. Okay, so the next question of tree-based algorithm is: How did you find which feature is the best feature you should use to partition your data? So, so there are several different uh, algorithms, different methods. The first one is called information gain. So here is at a table. Okay, we have uh, ten data. Points, okay. Uh, we have three different uh, features: x one, x two, x three, which is uh, seniority, education, experience, okay, and y is performance, okay. We have three different, three. Uh, we have only two. Oh, good or okay, okay. We have such kind of data. And which feature is the best feature we should select first? We should ask a question about this feature so that we can partition this data. So the first thing is information gain. The theory behind information gain is entropy. Entropy 中文就是叫熵哈，或者实际上它应该念敌哈，都可以哈，随便哈。那它指的就是乱度的意思。Okay, so first we first take a look at why, which is our target. Okay, so our ten data we have a lot of a lot of good and a lot of okay, right? So we like to calculate the entropy of y. How do we calculate the entropy? Okay, here is it, right here, minus, right here. Okay, so it is a summation. Okay, so for each data point, you calculate two things. One. Is the probability of this value, and times its log value. 
So right here at the right hand side, the uh, the y, okay, the y has two value. Is it either good or okay, right? So y, it is a random variable. It has two values, good or okay. So p good. Is the probability that in your data set, how many data set we have? We have 10 data set, right? Uh, we have 10 data points. How many of them are good? Five. Okay, five. And the P, okay, is the same. Okay, five over 10, 0 0.5. So, how do we calculate? The entropy 就是你就想它是乱度，我们在计算一个乱度，就是 y 这个 column 里面的这两个值啊 ，good 跟 OK 啊，它们到底排列的有多，不是排列的，它们到底出现的有多乱。So here is how we calculate this value. Okay, we simply just uh count how many good and how many OK in our original data. Okay, we calculate the probability and use the probability to Uh, put them in the entropy function. Okay, the answer is 1.0, and that is the entropy of y. 就是我们现在用一个数值来判断 good 跟 OK 在出现的这个乱度到底有多乱。反正现在评价出来就是乱度是。So the next step is we calculate the entropy of x1. 就是我们现在呢，就改改去看嘛，因为我们现在要评价 x 1 x 2 x 3嘛，我们就去算算看，那 x 1有多乱呢？好，那 x 1目前是呃，它的年资是这样子安排的嘛，对不对？那一样嘛，我们可以写 probability 嘛。So there are three different values which is less than five years, larger than ten years, between five to ten years. So we have three different events for this random variable x 1 So the probability So we have three different probability right here, times its um, is it, uh, entropy. You know, how you calculate your entropy? So, so on, so forth, so on, so forth. Okay. So um, where is it? The answer is right here, probably. Right. So when you fit, uh, when when you put x one the data to calculate the entropy of x x one, okay, which is the information gap of x one, the answer is zero point zero point nine nine six one. 啊，就是它的乱度呢，不是像刚 y， 因为你看哦，刚 y 呀，是不是有刚好一半是 good， 一半是 OK 嘛，对不对？所以我们认为它这个资料的乱度是一，好。那可是现在呢，这个资料的乱度是 0.961， 就是下降的。下降的意思是什么？下降的意思是说它没有它的资料没有这么乱啊、哦。你要记得哈、哦、，entropy 的口语的意思就是乱，它就没有它的乱度下降了。它的乱度下降的意思是说它比较好预测，也就是说它一定有某一个 random variable 的值，因为我们现在不是三个值吗？小于五、大于十、跟介于五跟十之间嘛。一定有某三个里面一定有某一个，它出现的几率比较大，所以你随便猜的话比较容易猜中这个，所以它的乱度就下降，可以吗？好，它的语义是这个样子的。OK， so when we calculate the information gain of x1， which means we are trying to evaluate the entropy of x1。For example， x1 has three different values， less than five， larger than ten， between five and ten。And we, if all those three different events for this random variable x y they are equal, the probability of these three events are equal, then we think the entropy is very high. But however, the probability between these three different events in x one they are not equal. Ah, because these three events have the same probability. They're not equal. So basically, we believe the data, the entropy, 
is a little bit lower because one of the event has higher chance, has higher probability that occurs when we observe the data x1. Okay? So after that, we calculate the entropy of x1, x2, and f3 by using the formula above. So that we like to calculate information gain, right? So the entire data y is information is 1.0, right? So the information, the entropy is 0 0.961 for x1, 64 for x2, 87.875 for x3. So the gain, which means you use 1.0 to the abstract right here. So x2, which is education, it has the largest information gain. So that it means we can get more information when we split the original data by using x2, which is education, at the first place. So let for data, the first question I would like to ask to partition the entire data set to uh, to two different branch the first question should be x2 so that is the way you evaluate different features and which one should be the first question you ask information gain is one of the way okay? the information gain is to uh, evaluate the entropy between y and, and each feature x1, x2, x3 the more gain, the more the, uh, the, the, the more difference, just the gain, uh, gain the difference is uh, the more difference they have, that means you can use this information. So you can see, the original temperature is 1.0, right? But x2 temperature is 0.69, so the information is very clear. If you want to use a very clear expression, it means that the gain Mantan 很有可能分完之后啊，不是分两坨吗？资料是分两边嘛，对不对？x问一个问题，分两边嘛。问两边之后，那个资料就会变成说，哎，好像看起来某一边的资料会比较整齐，另外一边资料比较不整齐，啊
啊，就是就是两个相减嘛，哈，它英文意思是这样，就是你用两个相减嘛。那差越多，就表示你用 y 去做分类的不纯度，跟你用 x two 啊，就是教育水准去分不纯度，那好像教育水准的不纯度，所以不纯度，你看不纯度其实反过来意思就是比较不断的意思嘛。对,对，就是比较不断的意思，好，所以也是一样的。Okay, uh, that is that is the second one. Just and just several different index to help you to, uh, to describe the data. Okay, G square. Okay, that is from statistic. That also they are trying to evaluate the relationship. 啊，就是中文是相依程度，台湾简定也是相依程度意思。So we can use uh any your fit any feature for example x one, okay, and your y to calculate the chi square. Okay, 那这个我就不太多讲，因为这是统计上面的公式哦，我去算就好了。So that is we can evaluate that the chi square. Okay, it's right here. The higher chi square it is, then we use this value as the first question to partition the original data. Okay. Variance, which means originally. Okay. For example, I have ten data points right here, and the average is forty-seven. The variance of this data is one hundred twenty-one. Okay. For example, that is、uh, your height. Or your your weight or your some numeric data. Okay, so I would like to ask ask one question to partition the original ten data point into two different data sets. Okay, for example, the question is if x one is less than ten or larger than ten. Okay, so I partition the data into two data set. One has eight data point, the other has two data points. And then I calculate the mean value and the variance again within the the class, okay? Within the class. And before I do such kind of partition, the variance is quite high, which is one hundred twenty one. And after I do such kind of partition, okay, I have two variance, but I can still calculate the <coughs> weighted variance, which is total variance, okay? So that is. The weight, okay, eight over ten, times the current variance, okay, submit plus the weight. Okay, I have two data point in my data set, okay, and my variance is fifty six point twenty five. So the、uh, weighted weighted variance is currently sixty sixteen thirty four. So my or、uh, the original Variance is one hundred twenty-one, which means all the data point in this node is quite different. But after I partition, after I ask a question and I partition the data into two groups, and the variance decreased, and that means the data point in each group, which is more similar in each within the group. 啊，中文再讲一遍哦。原本我有十个点嘛，对不对？所以我的啊，然后我里面就随便算一个平均值或标准差之类的，不管是哪个栏位，结果发现我 variance 超高，表示我两点的变异性很大，啊，差异性很大。那我随便问了一个问题，把东西分成两群之后，重新再算一次平均值跟变异数在群内之间。然后呢，我算一个呃 weighted， 就是呃就是 weighted 的 variance 嘛，哈，所以。前面有八个点嘛，就十分之八乘以六点三六嘛，后面两个点嘛，所以十分之六乘以五十六。那我发现它平均的 variance， 整体平均的 variance， 因为 partition 的关系而下降。那表示我分两群是蛮有意义的，因为群内的人变得更像了，所以 variance 才变小嘛，啊，标准差变小嘛。表示我这样分群是很有意义的。所以就第四个方法，就是 variance 来说的话，我可不可以在我所有的
feature 里面找到某一个 feature， 那那个 feature 里面问一个问题，使得我随便分两群之后，它的变异数可以小到差最多，像这样就是1 2二十一变成十六点四那这一样嘛，这是一个搜寻问题嘛，就是想办法。最烂的方法就是穷举啊，你穷举所有的 x， 然后问一下，哎，小于十、小于十一、小于十二，就随便问所有的问题，总会有一个让 variance 可以变得最小嘛。降的最低嘛，好，那那个那个就是我们最好的问题了。OK， so that is it. We can,、uh, if we can find a feature with a parameter that can partition our original data into two set, and the variance decreases to a very low level, then we set such kind of partition indeed separate to different data. Two different kinds of data, so that the variance decreases to a quite low level. Okay, that is this one. So, uh, for for all the all those different uh concept, no matter is information gain, Gini or um chi square or um variance, all of them are trying to find out a way to partition the original data. And the partition the data within the class, every data point is similar within the class. No matter the concept is from variance, chi square, Gini, or information gap. 啊，就是这四个方法，不管哪一个啦，他们的中心思想都是，反正我分开之后，我下一下一个 level 的时候，群内的人哈就要很像，啊，两群之间就不像。就是这样的概念，啊，就这样的概念。呃、uh, ，and um currently we don't have to write our own program to do these things because all of analyze algorithm, all those analyze tools, you simply just click. Okay, I want to use G square. I want to use GAN, uh, information GAN, and then they will find out which. Feature should be used first, and what is the parameter used by this feature? And they will help you to construct the entire tree. Okay, we will show you how to、uh, create those tree. You don't have to write program. You can just simply use Orange to create all those trees. Okay, so let's stop right here, and、uh, we have talked about configuration maps already. Okay, if you want to revisit, you can, you can take take a look at these slides. Okay. So that is okay. Let's stop right here.